Hey everybody, the Bong is back. Welcome to part 23 of Let's Play Yu-Gi-Oh! Legacy of the Duelist. Brought to you by MuchGames.ca. Alright, we're gonna move on to Emniel's Endgame, shall we? We're almost, I think, past the first season of GX. And I don't remember exactly what episode is when I stopped watching it. Because it used to come on Friday nights on YTV back in the heyday. Alright, I see what kind of cards I work with. The uh, Helios cards. Alright, so right now it doesn't get much attack until I have monsters banished. Elemental Absorber. Remove from play one monster card in your hand to activate this effect. Your opponent's monsters that have the same attribute as the monster removed by this effect cannot declare an attack. I also have the Rock Spirit. And right now I need an Earth Monster in my graveyard, which obviously I don't have. Needlebug Nest could actually help me. There's no point in me summoning this yet. So this is what I'm going to do. If I have like an Earth Monster in the graveyard, this can come out. Reinforcement of the army, you go ahead and do that. Guess I'm gonna eat a direct attack. It's pretty much all I can deal with. Alright, I'm gonna activate this now. I don't know if I have an Earth Monster in there. I don't. Wow. But I have four monsters in the graveyard. I was hoping that I would have this in my hand, but I don't. This card can be special summoned by tributing one Helios to Primordial Sun on your side of the field. So basically what Helios Duo Megistus is, it's double the attack power of this. And this over here is triple that. It can attack once more if your opponent controls a monster. So right now, I don't have much to work with other than, well... Let's see. I think I'd only have... Well, I don't have any monsters in the graveyard, so it doesn't matter. I can always Needlebug Nest again. This could be a problem. I can only sustain this for so long before I lose. Come on, put an Earth Monster in the graveyard, please. Great Angus, that's fire. Macrocosmos, that's dark. Well, can't catch a break with this thing. And sadly, I don't control a macrocosmos. That would have been really helpful to have. I, I think I just straight up lose. Unless... I have no choice. I have to, um... Get rid of my Helios. I didn't want to. And now it may not even matter. <laughs> and I just get another one anyway. This is... They're all light, are they? So I guess I'll just have to... Banish this. This will only go up to 100, which is not very good. I can't believe I have no worth monsters in my graveyard at all. So none of his light monsters can attack. Which 
gets rid of two Sparkmen. Blade Edge is Earth. So, of course, he gets an Earth monster right away. And Blade Edge does piercing damage. That was a shite go at everything. <laughs> Could not get anything going my way. Couldn't banish a monster until very late in the game. By then, it was just totally powerless. Alright, let's take a look at the, the full effect here. This card can be special summoned by tributing one Helios of Promenos on the attack and defense of this card become the number of monsters that are removed from play times 200 points. If this card is destroyed as a result of battle and sent to the graveyard, this card will be special summoned during the end phase, increasing the attack and defense by 300 points. This is good to have! Because it can just keep coming back! Well, it's not going to be banished, so I guess I might as well put it in defense mode. I wonder if I can keep stacking that effect. But it has to be destroyed by battle. And I need a water monster in my graveyard. To banish it, I can special summon Aqua Spirit. Future Fusion? Oh, he's bringing an Electrum. Or at least he's gonna try to... Another Future Fusion? And Miracle Fusion! Oh boy! He had two Future Fusions that he was ready to use. And now we have Electrum to worry about. And they all go to his deck anyway! Holy crap! What just happened? Now, if only I can get my some of my monsters banished. That's wind. Reveal one fusion monster in your extra deck and send from your main deck to the graveyard the fusion material monsters that are listed on that fusion monster card. During your second standby phase after this card's activation, special summon one of that fusion monster from your extra deck and target it with this card. Is he going to do that to possibly get two more Electrums on the field at the same time? Oh my god. I might as well get rid of that Ninken Dog right now. Surely I'll be allowed to do that, and indeed I am. If I can get a Macro Cosmos... It might be okay. Sadly, I have no such luck. Do I have many cards that can allow for banishing? Wait, hold on. Why do I get to select this? Don't think I want Wild Edge out. I certainly don't want Thunder Giant out. Or 
Or Rampart Blaster. Maybe Mudball Man. Definitely not that. Oh. I guess I get to just get to look at the extra deck. Alright, well, that got destroyed again. And it gets to come back again. Okay, it doesn't stack. It just stays at 300. That makes sense. I was kind of hoping I would have a little bit more going for me. No such luck. I'm getting some serious dead draws. Like, really now. And he's got a god dang Electrum to, to use. Come on, just give me the other Helios card. Really? Like, seriously, because of Electrum, there's no banished cards on his end either. I'm sunk? Come on, give me a good draw. Give me a good draw. Macrocosmos will be great to have. Oh my god. After this card attacks, it can attack once more if your opponent controls a monster. This card is destroyed by battle, sent to the graveyard, special summon it during the end phase, and it gains 500 attack and defense. I mean, its attack is still gonna be zero! Why am I getting the worst possible draws on this duel? The absolute blurst draws. This deck is not good to use against Jaden. Because power it revolves around monsters banished. As far as I know, I have very few ways to banish cards. Well, there's Macrocosmos that... Why does this always happen? Alright, let's take a look at Macrocosmos for a sec. When this card resolves, you can special summon one Helios of Primordial Sun from your hand or deck. While this card is face up on the field, any card sent to the graveyard is banished instead. That's actually really good. And I can also use Grand Convergence. Let's go with Great Angus. So if it gets destroyed, I can bring in Spirit of Flames. Watch now, I win with absolutely zero effort. <laughs> Like, for instance, he doesn't attack with any more monsters for the rest of the game. Kinda hope that Great Angus does get destroyed. Then I can actually banish something. Draining Shield! Okay, that attack gets negated. He gains 1,800 attack. Maybe I should activate this now. No, I'll wait till this gets destroyed. When this gets special summoned, then I'll use Macrocosmos. I think I'll be patient with this one. Unaffected by trap cards. No problem. Not exactly getting the best draw here. I 
Maybe I should consider Macrocosmos now. Should I? It's not going to gain that much attack. Maybe I should just special summon the one from the deck. Good to know they have these little icons to tell you if it's coming from there. Well, that's not going to get much anyway. I could use Grand Convergence to possibly destroy them all. Mirror Gate? What did that do again? When opponent declares an attack targeting a face-up element of hero monster, switch control of the opponent's... Oh! Because of Waldheart's own effect, it wasn't able to switch. Funny how that works. Let me set this just in case. But I got a lot of work to do to finish this guy off. Garuda the Wind Spirit. I need to banish one wind monster in my graveyard. Sadly, I can't do that. <laughs> I'll keep you there for now. Oh, damn. I need a lot more monsters banished before I can even consider Helios being strong enough to use. So it's a waiting game now. Even though I could just use... Ah, uh, do I want to go that route, though? There's something for me to think about. Maybe I should wait till I actually get, like, the duo one. Then we'll be in business. Oh, that's right, I have to discard from my hand now. Oh, it is a banishment. Oh boy. Rampart Blaster. You really gonna do this? Maybe I should do this now. There, that's better. Oh, that was a good draw. Let's go bring this out right now. So there's eight monsters banished at the current time. So when I special summon this, that'll be another monster being banished. Like so. Now it's up to 1800. Bada bing, bada boom. I will wait till you destroy this monster as a result of battle before I activate Grand Convergence again. And so far, you have nothing. Neobug. That's actually a good attacker by itself. I think I've taken control of this duel right now. Alright, now we're in business. Come on, Jaden, let's see what you got. How are you gonna get yourself out of this jam? Oh, this'll be really helpful. 
Okay, let's hope I can break through that defender. And indeed I can. Now it's up to 2,000 apiece. One more attack, he's dusted. Uh, let me wait to see what I draw. All right, now I'm gonna activate it. Those were actually good monsters to get rid of. Good. And that's game. It goes to show what happens if you actually don't get dead draws. That went really well at the end. Oh, I like that guy's nose. It's just so weird. Anyway, I'm going to stop here, and in the next part, we're going to Rise of the Sacred Beasts. Goodbye, everyone. Thank you so much for watching.